So you're moving to Northern Virginia and Sterling, Virginia has popped up on your radar as a potential landing spot. Well, guess what? In this week's video, I'm gonna share with you five things that you must know before moving to Sterling, Virginia, and we're getting started right now. Hey everybody, it's David, your favorite realtor. As always, it's another beautiful day right here in Northern Virginia. If it's your first time here on my channel, please smash that subscribe button. It's somewhere around here. Because every week I release videos what it's like to live, work, play, pros and cons, top neighborhoods, neighborhood spotlights, cost of living, basically everything that you need to know about living right here in Northern Virginia. So because of this YouTube channel, I get calls, texts, emails basically every single day from folks just like you who are relocating to Northern Virginia, and I'm so happy and grateful for it. So if you're even thinking about moving to the area, reach out to me, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, just know I got your back when you move into Northern Virginia. Sterling, Virginia. So I personally lived in Sterling between the years 2011 and 2016 timeframe. So about a total of five years. So I lived in Sterling before I moved out here to Ashburn. And I actually absolutely loved living in Sterling. But just like anywhere else, you can have some pros and it's definitely going to have some cons as well. But a lot of cool things when I was doing my research on this video, I found out a lot of cool things about Sterling that I didn't even know when I was living there. In fact, uh, when I lived in Sterling, the name of my street was 10 Foot Island Terrace. And while I was taking my drone out, I saw a little island called Ten Foot Island right on the Potomac River. I, th I thought that was so cool. I had no idea my street was actually named after an actual island on the Potomac River. And this is one of my favorite parts about making YouTube videos about living in Northern Virginia. is because I'm able to learn so much about living in the area and share all that information with you. And I lived in Sterling for five years and I learned so much based on my research for this video. Sterling has so many great things to offer. So let's get the video started right now with a first thing that you must know about Sterling, Virginia with the location. Sterling, Virginia is going to be located in eastern Loudoun County. It's actually going to be right on the border of Fairfax and Loudoun County. And it's going to be about 30 miles away from Washington, D.C. And then Sterling is going to be about 4 to 10 miles away from Dulles International Airport. It really depends on where you live in Sterling to determine how far away you'll be from the airport. Now, one of my favorite parts about the location of Sterling is uh, the majority of Sterling is gonna be right off Route 7, which is gonna be a major road. And this is what I loved when I lived in Sterling. It was a straight shot to Ashburn, straight shot to Leesburg, straight shot to Tyson's area, straight shot to Reston, straight shot to Fairfax. So the location was super convenient for getting around all of Northern Virginia. I almost forgot, when I lived in Sterling, I was like 12 minutes away from Reston Town Center and like 12 minutes away from Run Loudon. So if I want some nightlife entertainment, I was super close. Now, the next thing that you must know about Sterling, Virginia is going to be Algolkian Regional Park. So Algolkian Regional Park is going to be an outdoor park that features over 800 acres. and is right on the Potomac River and you got absolutely stunning views of the river. Some activities you can do at Algolkian Regional Park, you have walking trails all throughout. You have picnic areas, so you want to go there for a Sunday afternoon and have a nice barbecue with your family. Absolutely, you can do it here. You can also rent picnic shelters. These are awesome. So let's say you can have a big birthday party for the kiddos. You can rent this little picnic shelter and just have a great time, have the kids running around. Then you also have Volcano Island Water Park. And the kiddos go absolutely crazy for the water park. I'm not going to lie, I kind of like it myself too. I love a good water slide. It's a lot of cool stuff to do at Algolkin Regional Park. You also have an 18-hole golf course. It's going to be a public golf course open to anybody. And the fares are pretty they're pretty good priced. They're anywhere between like $40 to like $70 for a round of golf, depending on the time of year and what day it is. And then, hands down, probably the coolest part about Algolkin Regional Park is you can rent a vacation cottage. These are awesome right in the river. So you can stay like the weekend, have a great time with your friends and family, maybe have some drinks, have some people over. So that's one of the coolest parts about the park is you can rent a vacation cottage. So if you end up moving to Sterling or anywhere in Sterling, I highly recommend checking out Algolkian Regional Park. Next on the list, and that's gonna be The Homes. And this can kind of be one of the con parts of Sterling. Sterling, is, uh, the homes are gonna be a lot older than a lot of the areas in Loudoun County. So what I, I wanna put, you, put this in perspective for you. 
The majority of Sterling is gonna be split between two zip codes, 20165 and 20164. Now I highly recommend the 20165 side of Sterling. It's gonna be a much nicer area, better rated schools, nicer neighborhoods, newer homes. Compared to the 20164 side of Sterling, those homes are gonna be a lot older, built in the 60s, 70s, maybe early 80s. Much smaller homes as well. You'll see your three bedroom ramblers that you're not gonna see really too many other places in Loudoun County. So again, I'm not bashing the 20164 side of Sterling, but I just personally think the 20165 side of Sterling is gonna be way nicer. And like I said earlier, the homes in Sterling will be a lot older. In fact, 93% of all the homes in Sterling are gonna be built before the year 2005. I was very shocked, but not surprised when I was doing my research for this video. So if newer homes are a priority for you, then Sterling may not be a good fit for you. Now the average sales price of a home in Sterling is gonna be $529,000. And this is hands down probably the least expensive area that I've covered with all my videos that I've done here on YouTube. Now we gotta take it into perspective. Why is that number so low? Like I said, the 20164 side of Sterling, those are older homes, much smaller compared to the 20165 side of Sterling. So the homes in 20164 sell for very inexpensive. You can get single families for like $400,000. So that really lowers the average sales price overall in Sterling. But if you just look at the 20165 side of Sterling, the prices there, they can be pretty comparable to like Ashburn or Leesburg, for example. So let's dive into condos. So condos in Sterling, they're gonna start off at about $190,000. That'd be like a one bedroom condo, probably built all the way back in the 60s, all the way up to about $525,000. Now this would be a three level townhouse style condo, three bedrooms, three bath, 2,000 square feet, probably built in the past like three to four years. So let's dive into townhouses. And the average sales price of a townhouse in Sterling is going to be $461,000. Now townhomes, they're going to start off in the low 200,000s. This would be like a two bedroom, one bath, maybe a thousand square feet. Built in the 60s or 70s as well. And it's going to go all the way up to about $785,000. Now these are going to be stunning townhomes. Four bedrooms, five bath, almost 4,000 square feet. Basically single family homes. Now a great sweet spot for townhomes in Sterling it's gonna be in that 450 to 550 price range. This will get you a great townhouse in a great neighborhood. Probably be like a three bedroom, three bath, like 2,100 square feet with a one or two car garage. If you get any value out of this video, please do me a favor, hit that like button. It really helps me with the YouTube algorithms. That way I can keep on making awesome videos all about living right here in Northern Virginia. Off to single family homes and the average sales price of a single family house in Sterling, it's gonna be $654,000. So single family homes, they're gonna start off in that $390,000 price range. This would be like a three bedroom, two bath, one level Rambler, probably built in the 60s. And it goes all the way up to $1.3 million. This would be beautiful. Four bedroom, five bath, 4,000 square foot homes. And uh, the reason why they sell for so much, they're gonna be right on the golf course, which we're gonna talk about later in this video. So I think the sweet spot for a single family home in Sterling it's gonna be that seven hundred to eight hundred thousand dollar price range. This will be in the the very nice part of Sterling, great neighborhood. Be like a four bedroom, four bath home, two car garage, four thousand square feet. Probably built in the nineties or early two thousands. But this will get you a great single family home right here in Sterling. And then in Sterling, you have a fantastic fifty five and above active adult community called Central Park. And Central Park is gonna feature condos. They're gonna be like two to three bedrooms, and they're gonna be in that three fifty to four hundred thousand dollar price range. And then you have these beautiful townhomes. They're gonna be three bedrooms, three bath, 2,500 square feet. And they're gonna be in that like 600 to $650,000 price range. Next thing you need to know about Sterling, that's gonna be entertainment and shopping plazas. And the great thing about living in Sterling, you're, gonna, you're not gonna be lacking with entertainment, places to eat, shopping plazas. You can be covered on all ends of the spectrum. First, you have Dulles Town Center, which is actually gonna be Loudoun County's only indoor mall. I know indoor malls aren't that cool anymore, but it's still a great place to go to do all your Christmas shopping, which is coming right up. And then you have Cascades Overlook Town Center. It's actually pretty new. I think they opened it like uh, 2016 timeframe. There you have your Harris Teeter grocery store, great restaurants like Chewy's Mexican restaurant, great pizza place with fireworks pizza. They also have these two level condos that you can purchase there, which are absolutely fantastic. Then you have Dulles 28 Center. There, you're gonna have the basically the best grocery store of all time with Wegmans. Uh, I'm there at least once a week. You have your Target, Chick-fil-A, DSW if you wanna go shopping for shoes. They even have a Cuban restaurant which just opened, which is fantastic. And then if you're looking for some fun, go check out Axis and O's. 
It's an axe throwing facility. Go there with a big group of friends and see how accurate you are throwing an axe. They also serve food there, drinks. I know drinks and throwing axes, they don't mix, but they do. It's so much fun. You have arcade for the kiddos to play, so definitely check out Axes and O's. And then are you a speed junkie? Then you gotta check out the Autobahn. Autobahn's gonna be an indoor go-kart facility, and they go up to 50 miles an hour. That is crazy. You really can feel the adrenaline. Now, if you're a parent, you're like, no way I want my kid going 50 miles an hour. Well, they have the junior carts where they only max out at a speed of 25 miles an hour. So while I'm filming this video, I hands down have a big type urge to either go to Axis and O's or to Autobahn or both. So I'm gonna surprise my wife and say, hey babe, we're going to Autobahn, we're gonna go racing. She has no idea. I haven't seen her the past few days because she's been out of town. But like I said, cool thing about Sterling, a lot of great entertainment, a lot of dining. And speaking of dining, you gotta give them a shout out. One of my favorite restaurants of all time, Sweetwater, is in Sterling. I, I easily eat there at least every couple weeks. And in fact, anytime I have uh, clients visit me in my Ashburn office, they always say, hey David, any place you recommend to eat? First place I always say is go check out Sweetwater. You will not be disappointed. Next thing you need to know about Sterling, Virginia, and that's gonna be the Trump National Golf Course. So Trump National is gonna be one of the top rated private golf courses in all of Northern Virginia. And one of the coolest parts is, it's right on the Potomac River, so you get stunning view while you're playing a round of golf. So Trump National, you have two 18-hole golf courses, ballroom, a lot of outdoor amenities like pools, a fitness center. In fact, I almost got married at Trump National. Uh, it came very close, ended up getting married at Belmont Country Club in Ashburn instead. Now the area surrounding Trump National is gonna be an area called Lowe's Island. Now I think this area is hands down probably the nicest area to live in in all of Sterling beautiful homes like when I was taking the drone out and just walking around everything's so clean and nice really remind me of Ashburn so if you're looking for the nicest part to live in in Nola Sterling I would recommend the Lowe's Island area so back to Trump National and again this has nothing to do with politics just stating the facts here but if you're looking for the premier private membership golf course in Loudoun County hands down you need to check out Trump National so if you want to learn more about living in Northern Virginia check out these videos right here they're gonna be awesome resources and if you're even thinking about moving to the area, reach out to me, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. Just know I got your back when you're moving here and I'll see you on the next video.